Hey everybody, um, I showed you recently a video about targeting uh, techniques for taming your monitor and uh, really associating it as far as with feeding them. That way they know you're feeding them and whatnot. Um, if you've recently gotten a monitor, a baby monitor or even an adult monitor and you've just gotten them pretty recently and he's new to your home and he's not used to you, um, they're going to be moody no matter really what you do. Um, you, the best thing you can do is leave them alone. Um, after they get a little bit more comfortable, you can, uh, um, you know, feed them by tongs, and then you know. But I think one of the best things you can do when you first get your monitor is um, really let them be as much as possible. Let them get used to his cage. Let them get used to going in, you going in every day and changing his water and his food dish and stuff. So the best thing you can probably do is. Um, not feed them by tongs and handle them so much. That's the number one thing. People, I think, try to handle them too much, and it's really counterproductive. Um, I fed her a little while ago. She's kind of just taking a rest. I got this new big plant in my cage. It's artificial, but it looks great. Provides shade and hide from her. So she can kind of lay down at night. Um, so I wanted to show you guys um, a way to feed them if you had just gotten them and really it's it's really really simple food dish I got some egg in there her favorite uh, I left a little bit of shell it's really good for them some people are like oh no you shouldn't feed them the shell it's got a lot of calcium it's great for when they're growing and my monitor right now is definitely growing a lot she's in a huge growth spurt so I left some in there she's kinda picky I hope sometimes she doesn't eat it sometimes she does so it's kind of a toss up and if I win I win so here you go. You got your brand new monitor. They may puff up. You go in the air and hiss. Right now, see, I'm kind of waving my hand. She's not really sure what's going on. She may think food. Yep. Okay, here she comes. She thinks food. So she's like, oh, I know it's food time. Go in there. Watch your fingers. You don't want them to bite you. But it's maybe better off to feed them with a dish when they're new. She's pretty good. But you can never be too careful because they have extremely sharp teeth and they'll hurt you pretty bad. And as you can see, she's just kind of, they don't really chew their food, they rip it apart if it's too big, and they swallow it whole like a snake. Basically, if, if you were to eliminate the body and look at the head, you may think it's just a snake. They're very similar in the way they eat, but um, you gotta be careful. They do have teeth, they have claws, they grab onto you. They're gonna they're gonna definitely cut you open with those teeth. I'm actually hopefully trying to uh, learn on how to trim nails on lizards. I have never done it. So I'm definitely taking anybody that wants to send me a video about it or any proper ways to do it. Um, and I'm definitely be sure to post that as soon as I learn. See? They can, they're capable of obviously hunting, so they can obviously eat out of a bowl, no problem. And it don't really matter to her so much. She is growing a lot lately. Uh, another person asked me about water. You know, do you feed them, you know, a small little corner water dish or. You know, do you do you miss them a lot or or whatnot? Uh, my tank's a little dry right now. Uh, it's on the hot side; it's getting dry. I gotta spray it. But um, they love the water. They'll eat. They normally go. I typically notice she'll eat. She'll go lay in the sun on the hot side over here on top of a rock, and then later on she'll come in here and she'll cool off. You want to provide something a good size water dish for them. If not, it, you know, it's almost like a pool. You're not say water dish. You'll want to give them a nice spot to to relax and, and lounge in the water because they like it. They love the water. So I had made a waterfall, and right now I'm working on another one. So I took the fall pot out, and she, she lays in there all the time. She loves it. You can give them a little good for swimming in the bathtub. Also, some exercise. Taking a look at everybody. Saying, what's this camera doing here? 
No flash photography. It's my my rule, she's saying. I I don't know about everyone else's monitor. Mine is definitely does not like food on her face. She'll rub her face on rocks, dirt, whatever, just to get it off her lips. She got a little bag on her nose. As you can see, she ate most of the egg. Again, she left the shell. I can see it right there. But that's what I figured. Picky. Yep, yep, look at that. Leaves the shell. And that was it. But uh, she's definitely um, going through a bigger spurt. So pretty soon that custom cage will be built. And... Uh, She'll be all set for a good long time. Uh, I wanted everyone to thank you for watching. And uh, again, any other questions, please let me know.